Welcome to your core body yoga practice. We're going to focus on developing a strong front, abdominal wall, and a healthy back. As we develop your core body, you'll notice immediately an enhancement of upper body strength as well as lower body power. So I want you to just work at your level. You may need to work at 50% of your maximum just to get a sense of what we're doing here. And just go by what your body tells you to do. Work it regularly. If you work it, it'll work for you. Have a great practice and just remember to keep breathing. Let's develop some core body power. Bring your hands to namaste at the front edge of your mat. Gaze at your fingertips. Now just stand tall. So let's create some intention in our bodies, in our minds. Set your eyes at your fingertips, laser-like mind. So deep breathing through your whole body, just a beautiful stature. Breathe in deeply here. Exhale, bring your hands to the sides of your body. Gently lift your chin, sweep your hands straight up, breathe in. Pull your belly in gently and bow forward, swan dive. Grab your ankles and stretch deep here. Lift halfway up, inhale. So you can bend your knees here if you like, but create a nice line through your spine. Butt back, come into your high push-up position. Be light, bring your hands under your shoulder joints. Pull your belly up to the sky. Now if your upper body strength is overly challenged here, bring your knees to the floor. Breathe in, lower down slowly, bringing your shoulders to elbow level only. Now scoop up to a beautiful cobra or upward dog. Keep your neck soft, chin neutral. Downward dog, exhale. So you're forming an inverted V with your body. Take a peek at your hands. Make sure your hands are shoulder width. Now we're just taking some warm ups here, right? The beautiful thing about these sun salutations is that they work every muscle in your whole body. You're taking all your joint systems through range of motion working, stretching, heating the back side and the front side of your body. Like in down dog right now, the whole back side just being stretched and awakened. Set your eyes at one point so we bring mind into our movements here. Lots of mind. And then free breathing, free flowing, deep breaths into and out of your nose. Now inhale here. On the out breath, press your chest toward your thighs, stretch your shoulders, pull your belly into your spine, jump or step to your hands. Be light, lift halfway up, breathe in, back flat, fold down, exhale. Sweep up to standing, reach high, gentle with your neck, look up, bow forward, exhale. Good, lift halfway up again, soften your neck, and high push-up position. Breathe in here, lower down slow, bend your elbows. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Good, breathe in, set your eyes, breathe out. Meditation in motion. Now bring your mind into your abdomen. And what you wanna do is start retracting your abdominal wall toward your spine. So you're awakening, awakening just the connection between your mind and body. So it's important that you keep length through your spine and then your belly pulling in, toning your intestines, your vital organs, and also just flushing the abdominal wall with some blood. Now breathe out here deeply. Jump to your hands and lift halfway up, inhale, fold down deep, exhale. Inhale, sweep up to standing, bring your arms sideways up, look up high, lots of thigh strength, fold forward, exhale, now let's flow here, inhale, halfway up, so you can bend your knees to really lengthen your back to a flat position, high push up position, inhale here, hands under your shoulders, lower down slow, breathe out, work strength, get strong, long spine to upward dog, cobra. Pull your shoulders back, heart open, face soft, good, downward dog pose. Inhale and exhale. So check it out, your hands are alive, palms pressing. So that's strengthening your arms with opening your shoulders. Open the upper half of your body. Integrate your spine into the movement. So again, if you're tighter, bend your knees a bit, 
That gives you more command of your pelvis. You lift your sit bones, the spine lengthens. You can see this beautiful line here. Now he's strong, but he's also getting long. That length, great balance. Heels press down. They may not reach the floor. It's not important. But you're activating your back legs here. Breathe out. Jump forward. Lift halfway up. Breathe in. Stretch down deep. Keep your neck relaxed. Exhale. Sweep up to standing. Breathe in. Fold forward. Breathe out. Good. Inhale. Halfway up. Low push-up position. Exhale. Now lie down to the floor. Lie down. Now, you may need to pad your hips. We're going to take bow pose. So bend your knees, grab your feet. Now, we're going to stretch your abdominal wall here first and also open your hips. As we release your hips, your low back, mid back is just awakened nicely. Press your legs back, chest forward. Bring both ends up toward the sky. Now, keep your neck free. So drop your head forward. Breathing is deep. Drop your chin forward toward your chest so you relax your neck. Five, four, drop your chin forward. Three, two, just work at your degree and then slowly come down to the floor. Sit onto your heels, bring your forehead to the floor. Child's pose, stretch out your low back. Big smile in your low back, feel the heat in your low back. Now slowly stand onto your knees. You want your knees and your feet hip width distance apart. Just check it out. Now squeeze your legs and then slowly reach back, grab one heel at a time on the balls of your feet or your feet are flat, the insteps flat. Five, heart high, pull your chest up, roll your hips forward. You can see the abdominal wall is really getting a beautiful stretch. The whole front side of your pelvis, your hips, the abs, pull your chest up. Now squeeze your legs, come up slow on the in-breath. Hands to the floor, downward dog pose. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips high. This is a beautiful neutralizing stretch. So breathe in. Again, set your eyes. The first point in yoga practice is the mind. We develop our focus. From there, breathing, deep, free-flowing breaths into and out of your nose. Again, your mouth is closed, creating the sound of the ocean here, that oceanic sound. Slowly bring your knees to the floor, breathe out. Lift your chest and chin up, tail up, cat tilts. Round your back, exhale like an angry cat, chin down. Inhale, chin up, tail up, massage your mid-body, exhale, round, belly high. Inhale, tail and chin up, two more. Exhale, round, slow, one more. Inhale, gaze high, and exhale to neutral, flat back. Good, now lift your feet up off the earth, cross your ankles, roll over your feet to sitting. Now let's lie onto our backs here for bridge pose. So you wanna probably scoot up your mat a little bit, bring your feet hip width, distance, heels under your knees, tuck your tail and lift your hips up to the sky, hips up to the sky, interlace your fingers under your back and check it out, you walk your elbows in toward each other, that will broaden your chest, chest opening, giving your lungs all the space they need to expand. Now the tail presses forward toward the front of the room and up, it's a beautiful back strengthener, again you're stretching your abdominal wall, so we want to develop a soft, pliable abdominal wall as well as strong and toned. Because if it's just strong, short and toned, actually it pulls down on your spine. But you want a supple quality as well as a toned quality. Now, everyone slowly come down, squeeze your knees into your chest, and let's rock and roll five times. Sit up to flat feet five times. Five. Good. Four, just massaging your spine. Three, in breathing. Deep breathing. Two. Now stay up on the last one. Now bring your hands to the floor for a moment. That's it. Now straighten your right leg, keeping your knees in line. So you want to bring your right leg up in line with the left, knees in line. Bring your arms forward parallel to the floor. 
Bring your ribs down, front ribs down, breathing. Five, four, lift your leg a little bit more up. Lift it up, that's nice. Challenge yourself in breath. Bend your right knee, bring your left leg straight. Good, five, squeeze your knees together if you can. Flex your foot, action through your leg. Three, that's nice. Ribs dropping, two. Now, if you're fatiguing, really, without it, so you don't have to quit, you could hold your legs if you had to. Bring that foot down. Ready, set, inhale. Exhale, bring both legs straight. Five, balance, it's all mine. The balance comes from mine. Front ribs dropping, three. Abdominals getting strong. Now bend your knees, bring your feet to the floor. Slide your hands back for tabletop. Fingers face the front wall, exhale. Lift your hips up to the sky. Drop your head back. Breathe. Five. Feet parallel and hip width. Four. That's it. Three. Go a little higher. Hips higher. Breathe in and come down slow. Now bring your low back to the floor and bring your arms forward. Bring your knees upward. Five. Hands reaching, arms forward, four, three, breathing, two, lift a little bit more through your chest, lie down, bring your knees into your chest. Straighten your legs up to the sky, bring your arms straight up high, lift your head and shoulders off the floor, five, breathing. Four. Now, if your neck starts to ache, cradle your head with your hands. Both ends lifting, belly to the floor. Three, two. That's good. That is good. Two, a little higher. And now lie down. Leave your legs. Straddle your legs. Bring your hands under your head. Now squeeze your legs. Squeeze your knees. Four. Breathing. Three. Squeeze your legs more. Two. Tuck your tail a little bit so your lower abdominal wall contracting. Pull your pubic bone toward your chest. Breathe, now reach forward. Bring your palms together through your legs, head and shoulders off the floor. Five, four, breathing. Three, lifting, breathing, challenging yourself. Why not? Why not get the most out of this, right? And then come down, bring your knees in a nice sigh. Awesome. Now, slowly lift your shoulders and head off the floor. Breathe in. Slowly press your right leg straight and spin your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Now, straighten your right arm and just relax your face. Cradle your head with that hand. So, collapse the weight of your head into your hand. Lift a little higher, lower shoulder up. Slowly come back to center. Bring your hand to your head, elbows to knees. Breathe in. Left leg straight and spin. Let's hold five deep fluid breaths. Four, three, lift a little higher, two, and come back to center, breathe in. Right leg straight, spin. Keep your hands at your head, inhale to center. Exhale, left leg straight, twist, good. Breathe in and pause at center, exhale, right leg twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist, good. Inhale to center. Exhale. Inhale, belly firm. Exhale, abdominals to the floor. Breathe in. Exhale, straighten and spin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, last one. Exhale. Now double time. Take out the middle pause, right to left, without flailing. Just control, fluid movements in breath. Right to left, breathing, abdominals contracting, shoulders stay higher. 10, nine, you go as fast or as slow as you like, as long as you're aware. Three, two, now stay with me. Come to center, knees to chest, bring your legs and hands to the sky. Reach up very high, last five, both ends up, four. If you need to cradle your head with your, for your neck, do that. Two, lift a little bit higher, breathe in, and a nice sigh, relax down. Uh, welcome to the world of bliss.
bring your knees into your chest and sit up to flat feet, tabletop. Bring your hands back behind you, fingers face the front wall. Breathe out, breathe in, lift your hips to the heavens, drop your head back. Good. Five, four, you're stretching the front of your pelvis. Now really indulge this, a perfect counter pose to what you're doing. So you were just developing abdominal strength, now we take it to length. So you're long and strong. Come down slow, drop your hips to the floor. Slowly spin your hands so your fingers face the back wall and slide your hands way back, way back behind you, way back. So you lean your torso back. Now bring your knees into your chest. Now bring your heels up to knee level. That's good. Now breathe in and then breathe out, straighten your legs forward. Inhale, knees to chest, good. Exhale, keep your front ribs down. Inhale, tuck it in. Exhale, press, that's it, toes active. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, mind calm. Inhale, exhale, body strong. Inhale, exhale, three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, one more, inhale, take it forward, walk your hands forward, bend your knees, bring your feet to the floor, grab your big toes, and then slowly balance on your hips, lift your legs straight up to the sky, gaze at your fingertips, now see if you can drop your head back, you may fall back, Weebles wobble, sometimes they fall down, big deal. Four, three, bring it together, chest and legs toward each other, two, and then bend your knees, feet to the floor. One more tabletop, hands back, fingers face the front wall, feet are hip width, breathe out, lift your hips up to the sky, head back, five. Now just love this, it should feel so good. Just a wonderful opening. Hips lifting, inhale a little bit higher, exhale down slow. Squeeze your knees into your chest, bring your feet in toward your hips. Drop your head to your knees, forehead to your knees, round your back for a moment. And then sit up, and then just press your knees down toward the floor. The soles of your feet come together, that's it. And bring your heels forward quite a bit. And then just grab your toes with your hands, pull your forehead down to your legs. Five deep, soothing, serene breaths here. Just relax deeply. Let your knees fall to the floor. Two, you can use some upper body strength to enhance the stretch and take it a little bit further. Work your body strength for leverage and then sit up slow. Just slide your legs straight. Pull your sit muscles out laterally. And then just reach your hands forward. Reach your hands forward. Grab your feet. Breathe in. And fold down deep. Breathe out. Five deep breaths. So some of you, your knees will be really bent in this position. And that's healthy. Others of you, your legs are straight because you have that natural flexibility. Now slowly, let's sit up. Pull your sit muscles out laterally. Pull them out laterally. Now reach forward, grab opposite hand to opposite foot. So check it out, opposite hand to opposite foot. Breathe in, and then bring your right arm straight back. Breathe out, good. Lift your chest toward your chin. Pull away from that left foot. Stretch through your left arm, through shoulder to shoulder. Chest broadening, chest bone spreading, breathe. Breathe, roll open, inhale, a little more spin, change hands. Right hand down, bring your left arm straight back, and like a spiral staircase, pull up and spin around. Meditation, set your eyes, set your gaze, breathing, chest lifting, a little more spin, roll open, that's beautiful. Bring your hands to your feet, inhale, exhale, stretch down deep. That's nice, just release deeply. Ujjayi breathing, nostril breathing. 
So now we're relaxing, we're soothing our body through breathing and we're relaxing in this beautiful stretch. You're stretching your whole body. It's just such a wonderful opportunity after we've built all that core heat, that internal fire, that sun energy from all the abdominal work. And now you put it into your muscles. Your muscles are like warm taffy. And you just stretch deep, but of course, intuitively. What does your body feel? What are you feeling? And let that feeling guide you of how far you can go. If you can go a little bit deeper, sneak some in. Why not, right? And then sit up slowly and lie down onto your back. Squeeze your knees into your chest and just roll from right to left a few times. Just relax, settle into the floor, come to center. Drop your left leg to the floor. Let's breathe in and then gently spin your right knee to the outer left side of your body. Right arm open like a wing. Drop your right ear toward the floor. Just filter your mind down through your spine. If you think you can go a little bit deeper into the movement, do that. If you think you should lessen it, do that. Close your eyes and see if you can just let go. Let go of your mental rope. Let down your emotional hair and just relax deeply. You've worked your body in such a wonderful way. You've worked in healing, in stabilizing, again, the core of your body, which is key. And now slowly come back to center. Breathe in. Drop your right leg to the floor. Breathe out. Inhale, and then spin your left knee to the outer right side of your body. Left arm open. Drop your left ear. Close your eyes. Rest. Just rest deeply. Melt down. Just let go and let good. There's a time to make effort, and then there's a time to do nothing. Now just let go, just relax. Now come back to center. Straighten your legs out, Shavasana. Final relaxation. Palms facing up. Your face, your eyeballs, your head heavy and relaxed. Chest, internal abdomen. Really focus on softening your belly. Bring your mind into your abdomen. We hold tension in our intestines, our mid-body, the midsection. So consciously, just envision that all your vital organs, your intestines, digestive organs, as if they were floating in hot water, like an ice cube in hot water, and they're just dissolving, just relaxing. Let your hips, your thighs, let your whole body melt. So this is the most important part of our practice, really. It's where you allow all your good works to settle into your body, to settle into your nervous system. It crystallizes something permanent and real. I hope you had an amazing practice, and I hope that this empowers every aspect of your life. Thank you so much. Namaste. Himachala Sudana Samstute Parameshwari Rupam De Jayam De Yasho De
Ah, uh-huh. 